All right, guys, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to create a, a clay maraca. We have two hunks of clay. That's what you'll receive. Um, we have the tools we need. We have a mat, a board, um, clay. Remember, we don't touch the clay cutter. We don't want to die in our class. We got this guy. And what I do is the first thing I'm going to do, oh, I need something else. I need forks and knives. And the idea is they're all nice and organized. The knife's facing this way, the fork's facing this way. I'm going to take a fork and a knife. And when I put them away, they're going to go just, just like this so you don't reach in here and get stabbed. So I got a fork and a knife just for that. What I have is I am going to first and foremost start creating the ceramic spheres, three-dimensional circles, um, that go inside of here. You need to create a minimum, a minimum of 20 of these. So I got a bunch of them. Um, I'm going here. I'm not going to create all 20 right here, but I'm going to go pretty quickly and create at least 20 spheres. And realize that if you make a sphere that's like this big, that's just gonna go tunk, tunk, tunk around there and you're never gonna get 20 of them in there. So make sure that you make them small enough or big enough depending on the size of your project. So make, make a bunch of them, minimum of 20, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna create spheres out of these guys. So quickly try to create spheres out of both of these. They don't have to be perfect, it's not a big deal. I can go like this, I can roll them around on here. So I create spheres. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two pinch pots. First and foremost, to make a pinch pot, I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to push it into the pinch pot or into the sphere. I'm not going to push all the way through, but I'm going to push just a little bit um, so that it makes a nice deep hole. And what I'm going to do, hence pinch pot, I'm going to pinch. But I'm not going to go crazy town and go, ah, and pinch it and rip it apart. That's a problem. Uh, it's not going to exactly go back together. So I can, because it's clay, I can fail. That was an epic fail. And what I can do is I can put it back together. Um, this right here, some people go like this. I like to throw it, gentlemen, I don't like you throwing it like rocket arm at the table, but I'm throwing it so that I can get all the air pockets out. Because when I get the, if I don't get the air pockets out, it goes into the kiln and those air pockets explode. So that's a really big problem. So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna make a sphere. I push my thumb in, almost all the way through, but not quite. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch and rotate, and pinch and rotate, and continue pinching and rotating all the way around. I am trying to make it even all the way around. That includes from here all the way down into like this base, where that's really too thick and it would take too long to dry. So I gotta make sure I get my thumb down in there. Sometimes you get some cracking, that happens, it's okay. But don't do one of these. Like that, that's not, that's not good. We, got, we, gotta, we gotta use these. So we wanna make sure that we're going around and I have a nice pinch pot right there. And what I'll do is I'll make a second one. Put my thumb in, make a cool thumb hat or a mushroom, whatever, and I pinch and rotate and pinch and rotate again. So I'm going around, I'm going around. And the idea here is, we create two pinch pots that uh, become our maraca. Go like this, I can do this really, you can also put your elbows down on the table and do it this way, that really helps. Um, so now I have two pinch pots and uh, my, my spheres, what I'll do is I will put those inside of here. I will not throw them in here, um, otherwise they're gonna stick to the side and then you're definitely not gonna have a maraca. So I got, my, I got those, and what I can do is I'm gonna actually use a fork. I'm gonna go around, and I'm scoring now. So this is the technique to connect clay to clay. Anytime you connect clay to clay, I score, and I can even go, I can't just go around once, but I gotta make sure that I mess it up a little bit. I like to say perpendicular lines, so you go one way and then you go the other way, so it makes a nice like uh, X, if you will. So I go around once like this, and I have to score both sides. Remember, don't poke. Don't poke. What that does is that creates little teeny tiny um, air pockets and then your project explodes. So that's a bad day. Um, got this scored and this scored. Now it's the slip time. And we technically, we use water because we have such good clay. We're just gonna use a little bit of water. Don't fill these up too much. Only need about this much water. Otherwise, uh, this much water spills on tables, uh, falls on the floor, then somebody slips and falls and dies in art class. And that's a bad day. 
So we gotta make sure, just a little bit of water, I'm gonna go up and around here where I scored and up and around here where I scored. Um, don't need tons of water. And then these aren't perfectly matched up, but I can stretch it out just a little bit and I can connect these. I don't want to shake this up or spin it around too much because otherwise all my clay spheres inside are going to stick together. So I gotta be careful. Um, and what I can do here is I can smooth this, but don't go this way. If you go this way, you're just gonna end up with a hole. So what you gotta do is you gotta actually smooth it this way, but be careful, don't push too hard. Because if you push too hard, you're gonna have like this huge dent and it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna try to push that back out. Oh, I got a big dent, that happens. So I'm going to smooth this out as best as I can. Um, make sure that uh, I get everything closed up. And this is the main maraca part. Um, I could obviously probably do a better job of smoothing that, but that's where we're gonna stop right there. This is where you should be done. You should be done with this um, at, at the first day. No big deal. Um, what we would do is we'd put it on here, put the wet paper towels around this to keep it moist, slide the wood board and this into your bag with your name facing up and put them in the bottom cabinets. Good luck guys.